your question is evaluate the limits what they have given limit x tends to minus 1 they have given x to the power of 10 plus x to the power of 5 plus 1 by x minus 1 so first we will put this value minus 1 here what we will get we will get minus 1 to the power of 10 plus minus 1 to the power of 5 plus 1 by now minus 1 minus 1 so what we get minus 1 to the power of 10 that means it's a plus 1 and it's a even number that means you will get 1 1 now here it is even minus 1 to the power of 5 is minus 1 we will write minus 1 plus 1 by minus 2 now you can see 1 and minus 1 gone so you will get 1 so that means you will get 1 by minus 2 that is equal to minus 1 by 2 okay now next go limit x tends to 0 first we will put in this the value of 0 what we will get see this x plus 1 to the power of 5 minus 1 by x so now we put 0 in place of x we will get 0 plus 1 to the power of 5 minus 1 by 0 that is equal to we can say 1 minus 1 by 0 that is equal to 0 by 0 now our answer should not be you get 0 by 0 that means our answer should not be 0 by 0 so what we have to do we have to go for another condition what is that we have to take x plus 1 is equal to y x plus 1 is equal to y now they have given you x is 0 that means y is 1 so we can write x tends to 0 and y tends to 1 now we will substitute this value here so we will get limit y tends to 1 then y to the power of 5 minus 1 by now what is your x see this x is y minus 1 y minus 1 now if we write 1 to the power of 5 then also it's 1 now this is in the form of what see this this is in the form of y to the power of 5 minus a5 or you can write it as x to the power of n minus a to the power of n by x minus a that means this is equal to what we have a theorem it states that this is equal to n a n minus 1 so now we will write this in this form so we will get what see this this is equal to n is 5 5 a is 1 1 and the power is n minus 1 that means 5 minus 1 so that is equal to 5 1 to the power of 4 so 1 to the power of 4 is 1 that means your answer is 5 like this you have to do it.